Today on The Daily Dose, Albert Schatz, the biggest loser in scientific discovery. After Alexander Fleming's discovery of penicillin in 1928, the world of science and medicine still had no defense against gram-negative bacteria, responsible for the likes of tuberculosis, bubonic plague, cholera, typhoid fever, and other penicillin-resistant diseases. Albert Schatz ended that deficiency in 1943, working as a postgraduate assistant under the supervision of Selman Waxman, who led the Soil Microbiology Department at Rutgers College of Agriculture. In search of a gram-negative antibiotic, Schatz followed a hunch that became the most important microbiological breakthrough of the 20th century. After Schatz discovered the first two strains of the gram-negative antibiotic streptomycin, Waxman immediately saw the potential of Schatz's discovery. He took full control of all clinical trials, making the 23-year-old understudy sign an agreement which ceded all patent and royalty rights to Rutgers. Waxman would go on to take full credit for the discovery of streptomycin, as well as a Nobel Prize in 1952, never once in his life accrediting Schatz as the true source of the breakthrough. When Schatz discovered that Waxman was receiving a royalty for streptomycin to the tune of $3.8 million in today's money, Schatz sued Waxman and Rutgers and won an out-of-court settlement for $120,000 and 3% of the royalties for several years to follow. But the move ruined his career in academia, forcing him to accept teaching roles in a small agriculture college in Pennsylvania. His papers were routinely rejected by leading science journals, and when he wrote his account of what really happened regarding the discovery of streptomycin, the only journal willing to publish his account was the Pakistan Dental Review. 20 years after Waxman's death, the American Society for Microbiology invited Schatz to address their annual meeting on the 50th anniversary of streptomycin's discovery ironically bestowing him with the society's highest honor, the Selman A. Waxman Medal. Life sometimes can be enormously unfair. And there you have it, Albert Schatz, the biggest loser in scientific discovery. Today on The Daily Dose.